what is IVF? How it will be done? IVF is in vitro fertilization. It is the ART procedure, assisting reproductive technology. So, you are the couple. You are not the diseased persons. You are not patients. You are the couple. Where you seek some help from us. So, usually the fertilization occurs in this tube, fallopian tube, I told you in the other video. So, what is IVF? Why you should undergo IVF procedure? Suppose, if naturally the fertilization does not occur, if there is any problem in the fallopian tube, if there is any problem in the inner layer of the fallopian tube, that is pelvic inflammatory disease, if there is any problem in the endometrium, if there is any problem in the implantation of the embryo in the endometrial cavity, if the quality of egg, egg is not very good, if the quality of sperm is not very good, if the fertilization is not happening, sometimes fertilization will not happen. So, that is one of the reasons for unexplained infertility. See, you take so many drugs, you take uh, at least minimum 2 years, 3 years, keep on taking some drugs, you will go to some doctor and the doctor will treat you for 6 months period and again the doctor, again you will go to some other doctor, the doctor again restarts the all the tests and then again starts some treatment, um, start some small procedures like IUI or whatever it is, you will not conceive and again you waste some more 2-3 years, sometimes you may get uh, psychologically depressed, uh, it is, uh, you will think that it is not happening, why we should go to the doctors when God gives it it will come, pregnancy will come like that you may think and you go, you pray God or you go to some other places and you use the many kinds of uh, naturopathy treatments or whatever it is, whatever your elder says, whatever you know, whatever your doctor says, everything is over till now, till now you have not conceived then what is the option? You have to go for certain procedure, it may be an IVF. What is IVF? IVF is in vitro fertilization. When the process of fertilization does not occur naturally, that is in vivo fertilization does not occur, then we are going in vitro fertilization process. Where it occurs? It occurs inside the lab. So, is it unnatural? No, not at all. It is a natural way, but we are assisting you. It is your wife's egg we are taking, it is husband's spermatozoa we are taking, we are just helping them to mate together. Okay, meet together or mate or to become fertilized. We are helping in the process of fertilization. So, the fertilization of the egg will be occurring by spermatozoa and in the same way we are also helping some giving some of the uh, good things to them and the good process we are doing and then the fertilization occurs, the embryo will form. So, we are waiting for the sometimes 3 days, sometimes 5 days uh, or uh, depending upon the um, growth of the embryo, then we are going to transfer the embryo into the endometrial cavity, then the fertilization will occur and the implantation will occur. So, can we have 100 percent result? You will ask so many times, so many of the patients. See, 100 percent we do the process of fertilization, but the implantation process will be depending upon your uterine capacity. It may take one month, it may take two months, within one month also you may get twin pregnancy. It may take two months also, it may take three months also, sometimes for few people, but you should have some patience, some patience in attaining this kind of treatment. Because this is a constructive process, constructive not destruction. Suppose a person wants to go for abortion, it takes just 2 minutes, it takes just 5 minutes, that is all. So, if we construct a house, it will take minimum 1 year, maximum 2 years also. To destroy the house, how much time it takes? 1 day, 2 days. This is the construction process where we are getting our children with the help of God. Our process, we do 100 percent process, we prepare 100 percent embryos, we transfer the embryos 100 percent. 
why it doesn't occur for everyone why it why there is no 100% success in within one cycle it will take one or two cycles or sometimes three also because the endometrium sometimes it rejects taking the baby inside sometimes it grows something and then afterwards again it rejects sometimes because the baby is maybe little bit abnormal see we cannot see it normally even in after the process of fertilization maybe some of the genetic abnormalities maybe something else and your egg is yours your egg is not foreign for your endometrium but your husband's sperm is foreign for your endometrium so that time also sometimes it will reject sometimes it grows up to certain level where we can get uh, uh, beta hcg that is blood test positive where we can get urine test positive after that it again it um, fights and it doesn't grow it properly then we cannot get the baby properly sometimes we can get even the baby heart rate and everything after that again it um, uh, actually doesn't accept endometrium will not accept to grow the baby so this is the this is how after in vitro fertilization also sometimes you may get pregnancy within one month sometimes you may get a twin pregnancy within one month period in the you will get a definite result and you should be very very happy you should be very careful you should not think so much you have to think definitely you will get pregnancy and you sh- you have to meditate and definitely you will get the result you may require the support from elders one of you some of your mother maybe aunt maybe mother they have to help you they have to give you confidence first of all your partner your husband should give you the confidence then definitely it will be successful it may take one or two months definitely it will be successful